Welcome back to the adventures of Battle Grandma Supreme. Strategy is already committed as it's my Wellington, who yesterday we managed to pass that 400 combat barrier, which is completely fucking nuts. People were asking what's her kill list looking like, and I think that's an absolutely fair point, right? She's only got 84 kills. I say only 84 if that's not anything. I mean, you got to bear in mind this is also including, like, people burnt at the stake, people executed. Not that we've done much of that. The majority, though, if you look through it, is is going to be uh, slain in battle and slain in, uh, slain in a duel. The cool thing is, though, the real sort of cherry on the cake is that if we go through here, look at how many kings we've got. More importantly, we've got shit like... Uh, we've, we've got shit like... I mean, obviously the king there. We've got Basilius on there. We, we, of, of the leader of the Pistol Empire, I think, is a pretty good one to have on your kill list. We've got the Ecumenical Patriarch as well. Like, it's not just the people she's killed and the amount she's killed. It's like the prestige of it, too, which is quite cool. So, along with that, there was a suggestion in the comment section that I saw loads of. Like, a lot of people came up with this. I saw it on Discord. People were messaging me. If only there was something else we could do with the many, many, many swords we've got lying around. People asked for it. So, we can now, if we collect enough of these swords, we can forge ourselves uh, a throne of steel. The steel throne, if you will. We've got... Uh, oh, we need to be a, a piece there. It's not a prisoner. We need 2,500 gold, 1,000 prestige. Not busy. And we need 75 broken swords. Honestly, I'm, I, I originally added this with only 50 broken swords and then I loaded into the game and it's like, hey, you can craft a steel throne. Apparently, we've already got like 60 of these fucking things, which I didn't realize, although now in hindsight, it looks pretty obvious. I huh? scrolling through this list. So we still need another 15 or so jewels before we can craft ourselves the steel throne. That's going to be cool. I, th I think that is very much, uh, even if she does nothing, even if we don't eventually forge this bloodline, she's got the bloodline from the society. That This does also kind of look like a steel throne, huh? I know it's supposed to be like a crested shield with wings and whatnot, but that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, not only that, we've also got Benjamin Viscount Sonnenbrio Fay, uh, her son, who's apparently incredible. Despite the fact we gave him a martial education, he's got 18 diplomacy. Why? Playful, kind. Oh, right, and our 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 building's giving him a much better education, too. Holy shit, 18 diplomacy off the bat, though, is absolutely fucking nuts. Bear in mind, without the modded building, it would still be... It would still have, like, 15 diplomacy at the age of 14, despite the fact we trained him in fucking martial. This kid is absolutely nuts. We can also guarantee ambitious for him, make him into our rival. We could give him diligent. or we can run the chance... Uh, or we can guarantee patient as well. I'm gonna give him... I'm gonna give him ambitious... I'm going to give him Ambitious, because Patient and Diligent we can pick up, and he's also got a chance at uh, a both Conscientious Diligent, Fussy being Patient. He's got a chance at both. Anyway, this kid now has 20 Diplomacy at the age of 14, despite, like I said, being trained in Marshall. He's going to be nuts. He could be the first ever Battle Grandpa. I don't think he's going to surpass... He's improved as a squire, too. Look at that. I don't think he's going to surpass our current character at all, but there is a strong chance for him to be uh, uh, just completely fucking nuts either way. Get, get very close, let's put it that way. Um... Right, so, what do you think? Bounty board? Should we start Should we start off where we mean to go on here? Um, we've got, like, captains and mercenary bands, too, which is obviously quite high. That's quite high tea. Just going around swaying all, like, the, the captain of the Varangian Guard. Couldn't protect their emperor, couldn't protect the ecumenical patriarch. Now we're killing those guys as well. Oh, you fool. Another man for the throne. The pretender do... I don't recognize this guy. Is he a new one? Uh, 149, so he's really come out of nowhere then. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go for, obviously, that we're, we're gonna, I'm gonna be very careful about dueling all of these people. We are so, so close to achieving greatness. I want, I want the 500 personal combat. I think we probably will leave it at 500 personal combat, because beyond that, there's no one left to challenge her. It's diminishing returns at that stage anyway. Uh, so we go for 500 personal combat. Obviously, we go for the throne as well, and I feel like that will mark the end of... Battle Grandma. We've got to give our other characters a potential chance to catch up to her as well. Because if we keep going, she is actually going to be invincible unless we start playing as a character who's like immediately 16, immediately getting them into the society and just getting super, super lucky. It's going to be almost impossible to beat her. We've had an almost perfect run with her. Um, young Thekla plays hard and talks straight. Chance of her becoming brave. I have no idea who the fuck that is. So alongside, I should talk about some other stuff. You know, this is CK2 after all. We do have a claim on Beirut. We have a claim on Jaffa as well. I'm trying to fabricate claims on Ascalon, preferably the Duchy. We've got to get independent. So what we really need to do right now, what, why can't we declare war on you? Um, oh, round peace is still going on. Shit. Um, how can I find out where round peace is being enforced by? Uh, somewhere around here, right? Round, round peace? Normally you get a, a little thing saying, hey, round peace is being uh, nothing. Okay, well, well, I mean, it can't be that long anyway. I think it was what, like, uh, like roughly about four years, five years at the end of yesterday. So it's, it's not going to be too long at all before we can declare war on our, uh, on our liege. Get our independence. You want me to train him? Will it give us first? Oh, we want, he wants us to train himself. Um, I feel like I'm going to decline that one. Just in case it makes us busy. Just in case it prevents us fighting other jewels going to the bounty board. My God, there's no one on the bounty board. You feel like they're probably not going to, uh, not going to put anyone up there anymore. Everyone's too scared. Also, 
The presence of Ebron is starting to respect my rule. I should never let my treasury go negative. 14.5 thousand gold? Did somebody die? How long have we had 14.5 thousand gold for? Um, so since it's violence, my heart gets eggs for them. Become a Christian. Now you're okay. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened there. Yeah, I remember. We, we, we actually built another holding slot in Jerusalem. And now suddenly we've got like another 14,000 gold. I have absolutely no idea what has what has triggered that. I think someone must have died. Maybe a trade master. Um, maybe an unlanded noble that came to our court. Or a noble who lost their land. Who had a load of cash that came to our court. Or something like that. Either way, let's uh, let's have some, I suppose I have been focused on the combat for a while. So chances are we could have just built it up naturally. We'll admit, haven't noticed. Let's get everything upgraded as soon as possible. I also want to redo the retinue at some stage as well. Oh, we've got an Israelite heavy infantry barracks. Whoa, it's just flat heavy infantry plus 15%. That's nice. That's a good heavy infantry to... Uh, to oh, that's a, that's a good cultural barracks to get there. Um, so anyone who wants forward help you, buddy. We're only basically doing this now for the good traits, and that's unfortunately not really one that we're super, super interested in. That's a really nice cultural infantry. Not quite as good as, like, Italian pipe urn or, or the uh, or the Pictish cultural unit, or might be the Scottish one. I don't really remember. Those, those are generally the best ones. But that's pretty good either way. Let's upgrade. We've just built Jericho. Let's get Jericho fully upgraded. Oh, shit. 3,041. I was saying that. It's not like it's really super expensive, is it, for us anymore. So we've got Ascalon. We've got Jaffa. That was still just the county level title. Um, so what else does this character in particular hold? So it's just the province of Beersheb. Am I saying that right? Let's get you over there to go and finish that one off. I want to declare as few wars as possible within the Byzantine Empire, uh, just in case of Pax, Round Peace, specifically just Round Peace, to be honest with you. That's always a massive pain in the ass. New people. We're going to kill a rabbi because there's definitely nothing wrong with that. There we go. Perfect. And then finally, Chief Hippatios. You are also dead as dicks. I can see one day we're going to click that button. I'm going to skip over it in my uh, in, in my sort of pride and in my overconfidence. And we're just going to get annihilated, aren't we? 393. How are we looking? I'm not going to count all those up. I'm just going to check the decision. Still can't do it quite yet. I wonder if, if with 8,900 gold we can fully upgrade Jericho. I'm going to assume not because these... Even though it seems like a lot, honestly, to fully upgrade a castle, it... Plus one personal comment, thank you. To fully upgrade a castle, it is actually, like, ridiculously prohibitively expensive. You can't just, unfortunately, unless you are really close to the end game, which I, I guess we kind of are. Unless you're really far into the end game and also are playing a merch Republic or something like that. It's actually way, way more expensive than it looks. Especially with, obviously, with, exclusively with Flogi's Tetland in the base game. It's, what, all of, like, two buildings? Um, to be honest, I think we'll take the prestige at this point. We don't really need the cash done holy shit i didn't realize he was that old i thought it was much younger than that he gained of course brilliant strategist because of course he would oh my god wow um we can chance of him becoming brave or we can guarantee brawny fucking give him brawny he is better than us now he's officially better than us genetically right so we've got uh oh no we've got prodigy and brawny he is just us Holy shit, so Prodigy Brawny got Page, which is only level one of some basic equipment training there. He is Brawny, he's kind, ambitious, diligent, chaste. So he missed out on Patient, he also got Honest. Ooh, that's not very good, but I really can't complain. We've got 27 Marshall, uh, sorry, 29 Marshall, 27 Diplomacy, 17 Stewardship, 17 Intrigue, 15 Learning. Is he better? He's a much, much better diplomat than us. Uh, slightly worse at Stewardship, but our character's been through the whole business event uh, focus. So, wow, this guy is uh, pretty impressive. Luckily as well, this one is... Why, if you make it with a woman, is it patrilineal? That's so weird. A lot of people, I saw that in the comment section yesterday. People being like, oh no, your son's not going to inherit the bloodline. Turns out any of our daughters won't inherit it, which is kind of the wrong way around. In the base game, it's obviously the opposite. If you forge bloodline as a woman, I guess when we actually forge a bloodline though, when we when we do this one, then we this guy won't get it. Although it might work retroactively. I'm not sure. We'll wait and see. Um, wow, yeah, he's, he's absolutely nuts. Can we ask him to join our... I'm going to demand conversion to start with. Can we ask him to join the society? Is there any way we can sort of prompt him to get involved? It's really not, is there? Us to live court symbol. We could get him to assemble a mercenary company, and then when we play as him, obviously, we'll... That might disinherit him. There might be, like, a rise to power and... Uh, uh, conflict there or, or a feature in rise to power we'll, we'll ignore that i don't want to risk it too much right military organization we're almost maxed out look at these fucking tech points dude my god okay um wow this is this is unreal holy shit i can't believe how far we've come so let's get ourselves an upgraded retinue then so we've got nineteen thousand crossbowmen why don't we just go for like although we do get um let's just go for pure heavy infantry that's not bad i would rather go for cavalry specifically light cavalry 19,000 crossbow and a shitload of light cavalry. Uh, not that many, but hey, that's pretty good. That's that's a really weird retinue type. I like it. Boom, there we are. Okay, so he's actually done it. The final province there. Um, so when we declare independence, we've got to ask ourselves, what other land does this guy have in... Oh, he doesn't. 
Well, that's good then, because this is the guy we're actually going to have to go to war with when we become independent from our liege. Okay, um, so who is next to take out then? She's our vassal. Well, we've already got cleanse on all of those, so we're missing out like this, these few provinces here. Okay, this guy is definitely next up. So he's got three provinces in Jerusalem there. Uh, and then who are you under? Thrace. Uh, and Thrace... Okay, so Thrace has the rest of it. So one more against whoever that was. Armenia or something like that? Georgia. And then one more against Thrace, and basically we're done. That's assuming we can get all the claims simultaneously. Oh, we also have to obviously get independence from our current liege. Uh, 8th of November. My god, that guy works fast. 30% chance early. To be fair, though, does have 28 diplomacy and 100 opinion of us, so it's not really much of a surprise. Um, a learned Jewish man in our court. Thank you. Okay, let's get you just starting on the claims. Hopefully we can get a duchy this time and speed things up. Wait. The bounty board. Oh my god, I thought it was, uh... <laughs> I thought that we could build the throne of steel then. Um, let's try these guys. That genuinely might do it. I doubt it, but we'll give it a go. I think we're still quite a few away, and I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna count them all up. That would take hours. Let's give it the dual engine. What are we looking at? Still can't do it. My god, we've gotta be so fucking close. We've gotta be so close. Have 75 broken swords. Still not applicable. Alright. Oh no, we almost got another Diapiano there. Episcopus Elaine got away from the ambush and he saw through the disguise of the mercenaries employing them as identifying them as men in my employ. So we are still going with it though. Can I invite anyone else to the we just gotta hope. I mean we, we got very lucky there. 49? Damn, I can't believe we didn't kill him. Shit. Um How many Diapianos are there? Three living members. I mean this guy's also a priest, so shouldn't have kids. Oh, his, his kid died, okay. This guy's in prison. Uh is he new Bliet? Is it he is? Okay. Very nice. Oh, well, that's in the in the dungeon. It's not the same as the Ubliet, is it? And then Gerard, unmarried still. This guy should be the one I'm really killing, because this guy being a priest is is unlikely. To, I, I can't get married, so I can only have bastards. This guy is the one to worry about. Um, but given that we've already got a plot firing on this one, this guy's not an issue at all. His wife's dead. He's in prison. Then it's just him. And the Diapiano dynasty, the traitors, are finally destroyed. Jericho is coming along. Um, it's taking quite a long time, as you can understand, to build this many fucking buildings. Especially with CK2's extremely laggy building interface not being able to put up with the one-day modifier there. But my god, I think we are going to run out of cash. I think we are almost certainly going to run out of cash, aren't we? What are we up? Th 1,000 left? 600 left? Shit. Um, maybe I should pick and choose a little bit then. How, how far? My god, we're miles away. Holy shit, there's so much stuff to build. Let's go for the training ground, at least, because that is, uh, ooh, fine. All right. Whatever. If we didn't have the uh, prosperity events, we wouldn't even have the Castle of Jericho. That is another 2,000... 5,700 troops for us, though. Wow. Look at that. We've got 50,000 men as a duke. We must make up, like, the the, uh, the majority of the Byzantine Empire's troops. We might even make up, like, half his armies. Hang on. Um, I know that that's not quite how the calculation works. We've got to bear in mind that's, that's including his troops as well, and I assume he has some. Like, when it comes to... Uh, so, he provides that many men. Um, we're not under you. Who are we under? Is it this kid? Top levy of uh, him is 100. Yeah. We are actually almost half his army. 73%. Uh, sorry, 43%. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> wow, okay. My god. We spent a little bit more cash on a feast, which is giving our obviously the personal combat the perfect shape still. 430 personal combat. Hunt them. Kill them all. You'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can still safely skip all these, huh? Next bounty, please. You are dead. Skip the jewel engine. And then... Thank you very much. Next one. Okay. Is that enough? Fortune it's still not enough. <gasps> that guy actually wounded us. With his zero personal combat. That's to be expected, really. Oh, they always have zero, but I think that guy actually legitimately had zero. Uh oh no, intricate web. So we probably had like 12. Oh shit. Oh no. Ooh. Wait, was that the duchy level title? I think it was. <gasps> you beautiful man. Just especially when we got no fucking gold. Thank you. I appreciate that. All that time. It's like, nah, here's a county. Here's a county. When you got 13,000 gold, here's a county. The second we're out of money. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then we want to go for this one next. So we need Galilee. We don't really have claims on Galilee, do we? Um, Jaffa. Okay, yeah, no, we don't at all. So let's go for Galilee next then. We've got Galilee. It's just everyone else seems to have the bloody provinces inside of it. So you... Oh, no, wait. Hang on. Am I, am I going crazy here? Oh, it's just that one. The borders are such a mess. I'm sorry, but this is... Uh, it's kind of difficult to to. Why can't we fabricate claims there? Oh, okay. Um. Oh, because that's my steward, you moron. Right there we go. Okay, so let's start working on these ones next then. So we've got uh. Wait, D Damascus. Oh, I just sent it to the wrong place. You moron. What was I trying to get? I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Uh. Oh, that one. 
Okay, sorry, my bad. We'll, we'll shift him over in a second. Not a big deal. Time is on our side. She's done all of this. She's still only 49, by the way. We need improved keeps, noble customs, and siege equipment, I think, for the highest level. So improved keeps, noble customs, and then siege equipment up to level... So that's the only thing holding us back now, siege equipment level 7. That will allow us to build citadels. Um... Oh, and we also need big poor district, big citizen districts. Oh, which also require their own thing. Okay, so trade practices and popular customs. Uh, we can go for trade practices. We can't... Oh, we're, we're a tiny, tiny little bit away from popular customs. We might also be one of the biggest technology leaders in the world right now. So we've got to be... We might struggle a little bit for... Oh, she's old. True battle grandma. We might be struggling with the uh, technology. Yeah, look at that. We are very much a technology leader. Let's go back to Constantinople because those guys probably are still... Yeah, they're still way ahead of us. Does that count as old age? Uh, it does. Minus 15. Shit. So now we've got to fight 15 modules to make up for it. But to be fair, what's 15 modules? She's only 50. And we've had some really, really long-lived characters. This first part of Grandma was not like 80 when she died. Ooh, my whatever that is died and gave us a, gave us a good amount of gold. Oh, it was our steward. That makes a lot of sense. Gave us a lot of gold, but unfortunately, we do need to hire another one. He was very, very good as well. Um, let's sort by join court. Yes. Wait, really? No one wants to join our court. What, because we've, no, we've got no money. That would make a lot of sense, really. Okay, fine. Um, let's go steward. Just put him on board then for the timing. You can just collect some taxes, try and pay off a little bit of this debt. We really should have had that guy collecting taxes instead, given that money has once again become our sort of limiting factor. We'll ignore that. We've already got um, we've already got erudite, so we don't need to worry about that one. And then on feudal warfare. Very nice. Okay. Um, quality three, morale defense, morale damage, martial. How many books have we got? So that's it. We've, we've maxed out on our books now. This is unreal. This is, I can't wait to clear this whole treasury out so we can actually see what interesting artifacts we've got there just sort of lurking under this massive pile of swords. Damn it, he avoided it again. This guy's, like, way too savvy to try and assassinate. Look, it's him and then, like, one other guy, and then we should be good, huh? Who are you? My son, Admiral Wednesday. I've got content. Let's give him ambitious. Uh, oh, he's educated, died, but he's coming out okay. In fact, he's got some really good traits here. We could be looking at another really, really good kid. Obviously, he hasn't got Prodigy or anything like that either. But, I mean, Rowdy, we potentially got Brawny. We potentially got Shrewd. Uh, ambitious or Brave. Obviously, Brave would be the best outcome there. And then Gregarious to see for Learn to be Playful is the best trait, in my opinion, because any of those are good. Um, sure. Why not? Let's give him to uh, let's give him to Benjamin by Count Solomary to, to try and try and build up a little bit of friendliness between them as well. We don't want them killing one another after all. Okay. Uh, bring me my sword. 155 personal come up. We're going to aim for the head. Thank you, Thanos. Very cool. We got a hit. Must be our old age. Still, still absolutely annihilate them. And what's that it? Damn it. Come on. What's going on? How many more fucking swords can we need? It definitely works. Don't worry about that. Um, okay, this will this will do it. This will do it. Oh my god, they've restocked the entire bounty board. Do these guys drop swords? Oh, only if they've got them, I would assume. That makes a lot of sense. Um, because some, some jewels we don't actually get the... You know, he dropped his weapon on the floor event happening. Demarcus Belek. Skip the jewel engine. Come on. Still not enough. We've got to be so fucking close. Oh, we haven't got the gold for it anymore. It's 2,500 gold. Shit, you fool. Well, I suppose we might as well. I mean, we're building up one with the other, aren't we? That's that's actually pretty significant. The assassin's been destroyed. We're going to be building up the gold as we... Oh, that's awesome. As we um, do the, the bounty hunting anyway, so it's not such a big deal. A large number of people from a religious minority have asked for your permission to settle in Jerusalem. This surely will have no consequences in the future. Let's invite them in. We lose 3,000 gold. I'm going to do it because it's a prosperity event, and that's a permanent 25% city tax. So, in theory, it will pay for itself eventually, um, but quite quickly as well. You know, it'll pay for itself, and then we'll make a shitload of profit out of it, too. Nekamaya, who are you? You are my son-in-law, so you're my daughter's... That's so weird that they show your son-in-law rather than, you know, your child. Um, he doesn't get a name. Like, genuinely, not even do you get Nekamaya. I'm saying that you get nothing because you are worth ignoring. Slow child. <sighs> and he's got our bloodline, too. Shameful. <gasps> oh... That'll do it. That'll, I mean, obviously it won't do it. We're still 2,000 gold away. We've got another bounty hunter. Uh, coward. Come on, we need your sword. I don't even want his head. I wonder if we can ask that instead. Yeah, give us your sword and we'll just let you live for the time being. We failed again. My God, what is this man? 153% plot power as well. How many? He's got 11 intrigues. He's para oh, he's paranoid. Right, okay, that makes him infinitely harder to kill then. Um, he's also a stressed, drunkard lunatic with great pox. I almost feel like trying to kill this guy, bit of a waste of time, given that he's uh, probably not fit for long for this world anyway. This guy is part of the Holy Order. Celibate. Oh my god, this could be the end of the Diapianos. I mean, down to what I'm doing. Obviously, we've assassinated a shitload of them, but they've almost brought themselves to extinction here. This guy's 50, still in prison, unmarried. His brother Celibate joined a holy order, and Elaine is a, a priest with great pox, lunatic, stressed, drunkard. He's not having any kids even if he wants them because of his, his fertility is going to be so fucking low at this point. Holy shit, wow. Um, you know what? I'm going to cancel the plot. 
I'm going to cancel the plot. Why don't we just let them kill themselves? What a poetic end to the Diapiano dynasty. That even, even they could not save themselves. Oh, we're finally healed as well. 436. So again, we, we would be at like 450 right now. We'd be halfway to our goal of 500. Given that, obviously, we need 100 more personal combat. Um, Erudite, kind, trusting. It, there's no way I really want to lose it. Assassinating them would actually get rid of kind in hindsight. Uh, what's the plot to kill you? 124. You know what? I'm going to carry on. Because if we actually kill him, it, like I said, it's, uh, we would get, we would lose kind, which would give us more personal combat, as weird as that sounds. Oh, now no one wants to join the plot. Why? Oh, I shouldn't have cancelled it. My bad. Um, okay, let's try and kill you instead then, seeing as we do have a hundred and something against this guy. Uh, chance of my son becoming patient or cynical? We'll go for, obviously, the chance of patient instead. Welcome to court. Um, no one wants to join the plot. What happened? Have we done something that, oh, being in debt probably has has muted our plot power a little bit. Let's wait for that to be paid off. What are you like? Um, not fantastic. You're my nephew. I guess we'll give him ambitious. Why not? It's not like he's going to kill us, is it? And who are you? Uh, orthodox man. But I mean, he's basically dead anyway. We might as well. We're doing him a favor. Are you the one to give us our throne? Lunge attack. This this man's not even going to land a hit on us. Watch this. Boom. Done. Uh, pause it a second. Throne of steel. Still not 75 swords. <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to be a challenge, to be fair, and I think I think we've uh, I think we've done that pretty well. How about now? Still not seventy-five swords. Shit! Come on! Oh, an expedition! Wait, I thought we'd already done this with it, but I guess not. Uh, your Sicalerios comes to see you one afternoon. Uh, of course we'll go. Um, I mean, we're always gonna make a profit, and I think we've got the skill set to pass this no matter what. So let's do it. Uh, to foreign lands. Everyone's going to love us as well because of the crazy attraction opinion we've got. So if it's a male ruler, he's already going to like us quite a lot. And it is. One opinion. Um, to council... Oh, he doesn't care about attraction opinion? Is that because we're an old lady? You fucking... You fucking awful man. There you go. I'm going to give him some gold as well to guarantee that this is... Uh, guarantee that this is basically going to let us through. Uh, it's supposed to be stopped. Fuck the priest. Profitable agreement. Very nice. And then... Oh my god, Peter of Kloppenberg. I honestly thought his last name was Klopperberg then. More money is always needed. 500 gold, 150 prestige, and a load of other useful shit as well. Thank you. Um, I might as well reward him. Although, we are saving up for the throne. Sorry, friend. If you'd have wanted 10 gold, that might be different. But 200 gold is quite a lot. Give me my damn sword. Come on. Hunt, Comez, Gazes. Skip the jewel engine. Wealth of glory of mine. I might actually count them up. I'm not even kidding you. 75 broken swords. We can't be that far off. This is unreal. I'm going to count them up. We've got 70? 70 swords. Oh my god, five more jewels and we've done it. Okay, now I'm on board. I, I honestly thought it was a little bit broken there for a second, but we've got 70 swords. This is, I can't believe, actually, we've got, firstly, 70 fucking swords is insane. But the fact that we've done that with one character is, is nuts. Um, we've still got all our best weapons and stuff equipped. I don't think I've actually checked with her before. We've got so many Damascus swords as well. Like I said, I want to keep them all to to act as, like, a nice sort of, uh, a nice sort of remembrance. They're, they're sort of like having these broken weapons, but they're obviously much more impressive, aren't they? Um, we've got currently right now the sword that gives us the plus 20 personal combat, right? Where is that? Ah, uh, there it is. Extreme dopamine. Yeah, plus 20 personal combat. We could forge a custom one that gives even more, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about that. These these swords actually have a backstory to them. You know, they're a lot more impressive than just getting one forged. We've we've got so much gold as well, it's just not really worth it. Okay. One more. No, four more. That's what there's one more to the pile, I meant. Four more left to go. Am. You wake up and go to the window to greet the sun. We're also getting a hedge maze event. I guess because in her older age, she's really got nothing else to do now besides garden. Um, yeah, we've got the money for it, so why not? What I'm actually going to do... Oh, he's already collecting taxes. He's also in hiding. Can you not? Can we, hide... Can we get someone else better to our court? Join court, yes. Let's sort by... Oh, look at that guy. There's 27 stewardship, and he's uh, he's administrator. That's quite nice. Okay, get him to court then. Not that administrator gives any bonuses, by the way. I don't want to <laughs> mislead people or anything. It's just, just cool little traits for our students have there. Right, get you on to collect taxes... Get me some tithe, because this hedge maze is going to be super, super expensive if we want to do the... Oh, my teacher met with a sudden death. I'm no longer interested in training. You're fine. 2,223 gold to add uh, statues of our family. Yep, that's fine. This is going to cost us a fucking fortune. I'm going to write down how much this costs. A large fountain in the middle filled with wine. Uh, oh my god, no. For the fountain of wine, it's 11,000 gold. Obviously, you know i got to do it. 
Uh, ignore his advice. I'm not going to do that. Right, let me write that down. It was 11,023 gold, I believe that was. Important some flowers for another 1,000 and, uh, 1,109 gold. 1,109. I feel like I need to do the accounting on her behalf here, because this is absolutely going to brank up the round forever. Bring me my sword. Uh, aim for the head. Goodbye. Imagine if someone stopped us at this stage, though. Imagine if we got to, like, 70... Shit. Imagine if we got to, like, 74 swords, and then we were killed dead. Uh, another 1,825 gold. 125. This is going to be the world's greatest fucking pavilion. We also gain Gardener. Uh, magnificent Maze. Very cool. Uh, give Stewardship plus two, Learning plus one, and Secretary Opinion plus ten. Or we get Stewardship and Diplomacy. Um... Fuck it. I'll take, I'll take Gardner. Honestly, why not? She creates, but she also destroy. Um, I'll take, I'll take the Falcon, Falcon out for a hunt. That also seems pretty, look at, I don't think I've ever had minus 10,900 gold in CK2 before. Uh, she's scared of a Falcon. You're of all people scared of a Falcon. Here we'll do some fucking poetry then. Why is she getting all the lifestyle events now? This is so weird. Please, I need some bounties. Not, not even for the swords, but for the money at this stage. For the love of God. We've got so much debt to play off, sir. Please, my wife, she's very sick. He's gone. Come on, don't run away. Stay there. If only someone would put the Basilius up as a, as a target again for a bounty. That'd be nice. Let's get into shape. Only, my God, how much was that feast? We're no longer wounded as well. What's our personal combat? 435. We're not making much progress here. Oh, but to be fair, we are heavily, heavily injured. So when all of that's healed up, we've got to be like 460 now, surely. Um, I don't even know who you are. Get out of here. And for those of you wondering, the total cost of the pavilion was 16,180 gold, roughly. I think I forgot some of the numbers there, but that is... I hate you. I hate you. I hate you to death. Not that we can declare war anyway, because we've been in debt basically the whole episode. But fuck me, round piece again? All I want to do is make a queen. We can still do it. Don't get me wrong. It's not a, it's not a big deal. Um, another 58 months. I'm going to leave that up there. This time I'm not going to have the Basilius killed for for doing round piece. Oh, I skipped that one. I probably shouldn't have. How close are we? Do we have the swords now, though? We have the 75 broken swords. That was the final one. So 2,500 gold is all we need for our throne of steel. Let's do it. Strategos, you are dead. I need the money. I'm sorry. It's nothing personal, buddy. Uh, I was really hoping we'd also get some tithes at this stage. We paid off, like, roughly half our debt. Not even half our debt, like a third of our debt. Skip the dual engine. Okay, good. That's, that's put a little bit more of a dent into it there. What are we making per month? To be fair, we may all making 235 gold per month. Uh, let's stop the retinues reinforcing them. Just case of disease, plague, whatever else. The upkeep on the retinues is the expensive thing here. In fact, oh, I, I just wanted to double check that. I wanted to make sure um, you're good. Wow. Uh, I'm going to swap you up for you. You organize the army. Let's, let's try and reduce these retinue costs. I think that's capped. Yeah, it's capped at 25%. Um, this is basically the best we've got. Our council, though, is absolutely absurd. Our Mysticos is the weak point. But even then, we can kind of give her a bit of an upgrade, too. What about you? Swap you out, too. Um, like a dedication to personal training. Pick the war focus. Honestly, why not? Why not? Let's go, let's go full-blown personal combat again. Try and get it to 500 before she dies. Study taking Constantinople. Let's get you... Proselytizing? I mean, that's probably not a bad idea, given the uh, the sort of religious turmoil that's been going on in this place. Shit, what was I doing? Uh, I want to flip you over to War Focus. Thank you very much. 478. We are going to do this. We are absolutely going to do this. No! No! I mean, we can't. We can't. We can't push the claim anyway. Fuck it. I can't allow the debt to, to keep stacking up like this. This is my bad. This is my micromanagement. Not that it has any real serious consequences here. Um, besides all the smugglers' rings building up, all the other debts that we're accruing, etc., etc. People hating us. Another plus one personal combat. 479. What's that, like 21 more jewels and we're also going to hit 500? Bring me my sword. Bring me my sword, you foolish man. What is wrong with you? They're just doing it to say, you know what? Grandchild, I once fought. Strategy saw Ramika Mary Theodosius. You fought her? Grandfather? Is that. And yes, grand, and she kicked my ass completely. Absolutely annihilated. Thank you, Grandpa and Waradarine. That's not at all how it's pronounced. Thank you for your interesting story. That's just hypothetical. Uh, bounce board, what have we got? Demarcus Theodorus. Again, I need the gold more than anything else. Thank you very much. Get into shape. That's going to give us a new, few more points as well. Another five personal combat. I feel like getting into shape shouldn't count. Because that's only a temporary thing anyway. I feel like we need to get to like 505 personal combat. Did you just say that? What? Have you spent countless hours swinging your sword? It's clear that your technique is better. You know the essence of... Really? She decided to also work on her personal combat outside of the society. Another... Oh my god. Warrior is permanent plus 10? Absolutely unbelievable. 486 personal combat. And we're injured. We actually might be there, genuinely. Uh, minus 1. Minus 2. Minus 1. Uh... We got minus two from Bruce, dominant hands. That's like another, what's that, like six overall? Shit, we are so fucking close. 
the second we collect a tithe, they want another 4,000 gold. The issue is if we turn this down, it's going to be a long time before we get this again. We'll lose 3,661 gold for... I've got I've got to do it. I've, I have to do it because these prosperity events are so rare. There's only a certain amount of them. They're also permanent county modifiers. So although it's a big amount of gold now, we've got the tithe, which kind of pays for it. But it will also pay for itself eventually. Like, it's, it's just going to help us out so, so much in the future if we do end up with a shit character. I've got to stick with it. Look at that. And we're also paying off the debt insanely fast now. 249 gold per month. Five more months, six more months. We're going to be good. <gasps> Is someone... Oh, I thought someone's about to assassinate us. Okay, we're fine. He, uh, the bridge broke and he saved us. My God, so we were inspecting a, a flimsy bridge there. I genuinely thought someone had tried to have us killed. I was going to say, who the hell would assassinate her? Besides the families of the, the, you know, the mountain of bodies that she's caused. Okay, let's go quick and simple. Swing your weapon. Brictory is ours. Thank you very much. Uh, perfect person. Another bounty hunter opportunity. Thank you very much. They are just flinging them at us now. They are making this way too easy. I'm going to avoid. Yeah, we'll just skip over that one. There we go. Anyone else on the bounty board? There are two more people. I think we are absolutely up to 500 personal combat right now. I think we've hit that. Let's take a look. Uh, get out. And finally, 486. But we've got wounded, which is minus 15. So that alone basically makes it makes it guaranteed. Swall on wrist. Holy shit. Give it a minute. Give it a minute for all of this stuff to heal. I'm not going to make a jewel anymore. We're going to let all of this heal up. And then I think we've actually nailed it. All we've got to do now, say that the 2,500 gold, there it is. Boom. 505. And we've still got the broken finger and the swollen wrist. And like I said, we've got to get up to 505 because of the uh, perfect shape, which will fade away. My God. We've actually done it. 505 personal combat. And the cool thing is that, that I don't know if any of you have uh, watched the, the, the Joris Bonson series, which is kind of similar to this one to some degree. Um, they're, they're very much sort of in the same vein. The Joris Bonson series, that was back when personal combat from the Orders of Chivalry mod... Every time you want a jewel, you used to get three personal combat. Which at the time, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. That seems fairly balanced. And then I remember saying in one episode, like, that'd be kind of... You know, it would feel a little bit more earned. Or, or like, it would be a little less OP if it was only plus one. And then it was changed to plus one at the end of each jewel. Even then, we've done it. This feels like the mod is in, like, a perfect place right now. All of this possible thanks to Orders of Chivalry. So go download and rate that and favorite that if you want. Um, you should. This is like, this feels like we've earned it. You know, she spent her whole lifetime at war, constantly dueling. 505 personal combat. That's like the perfect place, I think. Holy shit. Um, ignore his advice. You don't know what you're talking about. You're, you're a fucking madman. Uh, spy in the castle. I'll kill him with my bare hands. We're going to tear him in half like a phone book. 2,100. Come on. 2,102 gold. Almost to glory. We lost or gained a trait? I'm not really sure what that was. I should have paid more attention there. I've really, We gained just, really? That must be what we gained, because, I mean, it's appeared at the end of the list, but I, I didn't think we had one. I, all the other traits, I'm pretty sure we had. We had gluttonous. Oh, when, how do we pick that up? Skip the jewel engine. 2,500 gold. Build for me. Build for me the throne of steel. I've decided to create a fearsome and mighty throne from the blades of my vanquished foes in order to send a clear and concise message to me enemies. Apparently, she's a pirate now. Call all the bloody smiths in the realm. 2,500 gold. Expensive. Very expensive. To be honest, it's not even that expensive for her, though, is it? They've really topped up the bounty board. I guess that's why we were doing our little bit of a rest there so we could see the actual 505 on the, on the screen. My God. 1,985 gold as well. Look at this. Bringing so much cash. I'd like to see the cash nerfed. That's the only thing I have I have a complaint with anymore with this mod is that the amount of money it can bring in, especially when you're in this situation, it, that, like the end game and the Byz Byzantine Empire and all that, especially with the Trade League mod as well, there's a lot of money floating around. And it seems to be very, very easy to make a kingdom's fortune doing it. As it should. You are putting your life on the line. Um, and it should be expensive. But maybe, like, the guild take 90% of it. And then you take the, the a small amount left over. That could be, like, the head cannon. I don't know. I, I feel like the amount of money that it brings in is, is way too much. Holy shit. You awaken to the rupturous commotion. It's, don't check the spelling, okay? Coming from the direction of your castle courtyard. Peering out of the window, you see a large cart drawn by nearly a dozen horses on the back of which is a wooden box larger than any you've ever seen before. You rush down to the courtyard where your castle blacksmith comes to greet you. My lady, the great work is finally finished. All shall bear witness to your mighty and borderline terrifying combat prowess. The peasants prize open the sides of the crate. Within lies the steel throne, a mighty monolith befit for, a, befit for the fear and respect such a mighty warrior commands. We have gained 100 prestige. We add a steel throne and we lose all of our broken weapons or almost all. Of them. Obviously, we still got a shitload more, but we did have all of those broken weapons destroyed. Look at that. Holy shit. Very nice. I can't believe we still got so many left over, though. That's fucking ridiculous. Steel throne forged 
from the mighty blades of many defeated foes. There it is. Completely original Steel Throne. I thought I'd do something cool with this, though. So it gives the month prestige, obviously less piety, because I can imagine the church proof of you literally sitting on a throne of swords. Martial plus two, general opinion minus five, because people will probably fear you. Personal combat plus 10, but it also adds the resilient to battle injuries modifier. She's also severely injured. She lost a fucking hand in the last duel. No way. It's her old age. This, maybe this is the lesson. 57. She got severely injured. The first injury we've ever had. The first permanent injury from any duel. And it took until she was old. Unreal. Oh my god, and now she's learning a leadership trait as well. Um, should we take the open planes? Take the, take the open planes. What's the, what's the train around here? I have really no clue. It's all open planes. Oh, it's all open planes. That's perfect. Okay. Wow. I can't believe after all this time she's finally been maimed. But we've done it. The 500 personal combat, even with the maiming. I mean, we've still got it when the wounded disappears and all of that as well. And we've got the steel throne. Very nice. That's, that's so good. I'm, I'm so happy to have done that. Oh my god. She's gained an infection. If she dies from this, I'll be livid. Um, skip the dual engine. Dead. Still 485 personal combat, by the way, despite the fact she's got an infection, missing a hand, and is wounded. She cannot be killed. She's still. Th this is not such a bad thing. This is a testament to her abilities that even now, she is the unstoppable warrior. How long? 10 months. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Now that all the distractions are out of the way, we will absolutely 100% forge this kingdom. She won't die from this. This will not kill her. It's barely even slowed her down at all. So I think, finally, we're going to do it. The kingdom, the queendom of Jerusalem with a character who deserves it more than absolutely any other character I think we've ever played in CK2. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We are, we're very close to the end of the story of Ulrika Mary Theodosius Mind 1 and 10 Her son is incredibly good, capable of taking over, but I think I think she's really been the, uh, the, the, the key character of this series, right? Shout out to Alchemia, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kurato, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Balik Strong, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Chris, Derek, DKO, Donald, Fakuna Vasquez, Gogula, Sarik, Harry McGowan, Huey Longdong, Iguana Squad, James Shade, Jeddah Dyer, Bird, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kane and Carter, Olympia George, Michael Mullen, Nostrus, Necrophilin, Odie, Palvis Presley, Paul, Rodin, Scott, Scan, Slipping Ip, Somnus, Shay, The One Ring, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McLean, Vacuus, Vacuus, Varagon, Valavradin, and William Green for their support, the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. It's much appreciated. Big shout out to these guys. Shout out to the other patrons as well who do not wish to be named, but you know who you are. You know who you are. Thank you as well to Asaro, Adam in person, Adrian Ellis, and Alex Bogart, Aiden N, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Artem, Astro, Attila, Better Monster Max, Better Valerian, Blood for the Blood God, Brittany Lee, Wen Gunn, Castillo J, Chris, Corgi Circus, Cogzel, Dapper Go, Derek, Don, Dove, Dung Honey 2 and 7, Dylan, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gambrel, Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gothamo, Gray, Hashi Dumar, Iron Sagatair, Icy the Great, Erotha, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Duran DeVries, Jessica Smith, Jump's Lucky Sister, Jilly Vondel, Joseph Beer, Justin Rules, Justin Pluck, Justin Walters, Kevin Saunders, Kane GB, Lapis, Layla, Luan Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bosic, Marek, Thrandraug, Martin, Mustolp, Monty, Mosley, Sampson, Munda, Difflin, my name isn't Dio, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Olivia Kaiser, Organized Confusion, Pan Sammy, Panthapel, Peyton Dennisar, Kamara Ishmael, Right Ace, Russian Oligar, Billionaire, Brian Hooper, Sam Keir, Scamp, Shardul, Silkworm, Smirtworm, Socrates, Supernanny089, Sweet C, Tala, Tioma, Tony Laban, Trashbin, Volsa, Voodoo Mumbo, Void Prince Kibo, Will Wade, Wesley C, Wilson Atef, Yellow Ford, Yorker, Zach, and Zetlock 2. See you guys all tomorrow for the final chapter. I imagine I'll be surprised if she lives any longer, although at the rate she's going, of Ulrika Mary Theodosius Smythe Wellington II.